Hello YouTube, uh, it's Sean, I'm back with another video. It's been a while. Um, I just kind of wanted to cover uh, my vlogging gear today. I'm going to go through the positive and negatives about my gear and kind of show you what I've got and uh, hopefully this will make your um, buying experience a little bit better because you'll know what to look out for when you're when you're looking for stuff like this. So let's go ahead and dive down right into this. First things first, I've got this little pouch right here. I like to carry this on my belt loop and it's got my point and shoot camera on there. It's a, a Sony HX90V. Pretty good point and shoot camera. It's got the uh, little flip up LCD there. Um, really good, high quality, shoots great footage, 18 megapixels. Uh, I, I got this on eBay for basically like 350 bucks. Definitely a good deal. I'm, I know that the Nikon G7X is also a uh, good option. And then I just basically put on this little like mini gorilla pod here that I got and you just kind of do this, this number right here. It works pretty good. Yeah, flip up the LCD. And it's awesome. Autofocus works great. Good for taking stills. You know, you, you really can't beat it. Uh, it's now my backup. It used to be kind of my go-to uh, initially. What's left in the pouch is I got two more batteries. So I got three batteries total. I mean, I could shoot all day. So if my big camera runs out, I can pull this out. Or if I'm in a small area where I don't, don't want to have the big monstrous camera out, this is a, this is a good alternative. Moving on. If I, if I want to go do something sportsy, you know, maybe mountain climbing or uh, snorkeling or whatever, you know, obviously I have the, the trusty GoPro. Now I've got a Hero 4 um, Silver, nothing special. I didn't really see an, a reason to upgrade to Hero 5. I didn't really think any of the new features was anything significant for me, you know. Uh, so I'm really happy with this. This has definitely um, got me some really good footage. Uh, I have a, a, a ton of attachments here. I've got the like remote uh, that goes on to the uh, selfie stick here. You can just extend it out like this. This is a go scope one. I really like this because um, you can put two GoPros on it if you want. One facing you and one uh, facing away from you. Get got another tripod for that one as well. Uh, the like the floaty. You know, for the um, for doing the water stuff, as well as the floaty back, definitely like that. Um, mount, you know, if I want to slap it on something, maybe like a car, uh, shoot like that. I've got several batteries for it. You know, especially now that the five's out, you could definitely get these for for pretty cheap under you know four hundred dollars. I think I saw them on the Black Friday sale for like three fifty, three hundred. So yeah, there's that. Let's push this all aside. Now we're gonna switch cameras because I gotta go through this uh, camera bag. Went ahead and switched cameras. I'm on the HX90V now because I wanted to show you how I pack my DSLR and uh, its accessories. I wanted to have a small backpack because I used to have a Phantom 4 and it had this huge backpack and it was just a lot to carry around and you know dragging that thing all day became a pain in the butt. So um, I got a little bit smaller of a backpack. I basically went on eBay, looked for a DSLR uh, camera backpack. This one looks good, picked it up, 30 bucks, it was a great deal. Um, you can see that uh, it's got a nice tripod holder on the side. Same thing, went on eBay, like 20 bucks. Got a nice big sturdy tripod, pans and all that stuff. Uh, has some good features, got a little level on it and all that. And next I've got the Jovi Gorillapod. Um, I know you've seen these, a lot of vloggers use it. Uh, it's really good, same thing, picked it up off of eBay, I think it was like 30 bucks. Definitely, definitely a good purchase as well. So let's go ahead and dig into this bag and, and see what kind of goodies we have in here. So, starting at the bottom, this is where basically all my DSLR stuff is gonna go. You can kind of see in there that I get it all packed in there nice. Starting over here, you can see I've got a um, EOS Rebel T6i. This is uh, a pretty good camera. I got it with the 1855 lens. This came as a kit with the shotgun mic and a 32 gig micro SD card. It was like the video creators kit or something like that for I think uh, $800 off of B&H Photo. It's a really good deal. I like the Rebel T6i. This is a good camera. Um, it's like an entry, mid-entry level DSLR. 
uh, has really good features. Um, nothing spectacular. It's been out for two years, so it's it's just nothing that's going to blow the roof off or anything like that. It records in 1080p at 30 frames a second, so that's exactly what I, I wanted there. So like I said, it came with the uh, uh, 1855 right here with it, which is a, a good medium range zoom lens. Uh, it's IS STM. So really good. You're not going to get any motor noise. You know, it's got good silent autofocus as well as the uh, 18, uh, 10 to 18 rather. This is a really good lens. Casey Neistat uses it. It gives you a really good wide angle. Um, you have to use it in bright light though because it is, I think, f3.5 to like 5 point something. So uh, usually outdoor use for this one. And then this is kind of extra for me. Uh, I got a 55 250. Uh, this one just gives you that that super uh, extra zoom that you might want to go get something uh, at a distance. This lens, I think I got it for like 200 off of B and H. 55 250 I got off of eBay. Really good deal, 100 bucks new. And uh, let's see what else I have in here. Just for the bottom, basically got my Mavic uh, controller down here. So. Let's go ahead and dive into the top of this. So in the top, I've got this uh, pouch here. You can see, and I stack my uh, Rode Video Mic Go microphone that sits on top of my DSLR here at the top. And also as well in the, in the back of the bag, I've got the uh, um, windsock here. Works really well. Um, I think this was like, you know, 30 bucks, same thing. Just Google on eBay or B&H. Uh, takes a little bit of the wind noise out um, if you're out on a windy day shooting outdoors or something like that. So, see, before we get into what's left, let me go ahead and uh, assemble the DSLR real quick. You just basically spin this on there, and then on the side, you just... Um, Basically hook in the mic and then slide in the uh, tripod and then we're going to go ahead and throw on the lens here. And shabam, we are ready to vlog. This is like Casey Neistat style right here. Just kind of give this thing a bend and shabam, I mean you're gonna get great quality out of this. Uh, I love it. It's a little awkward carrying this thing. Could be a little bit difficult to carry for uh, somebody that doesn't work out or like a girl or something like that. No offense. Yeah, overall a pretty pretty legit setup. And like I said, if this is too much to carry out, take out the HX90V or even um, you could use your phone, you know? Basically you don't need all this video gear to make a good vlog. Like, I'm still learning and I have all this stuff. I, I could easily have started out with just my phone and, and get I mean, if you look at Casey Neistat's videos, they're they're really good. And, and initially, when he first started out, he didn't really have expensive gear. You know, he didn't have a lot of money. And he still made uh, really good videos because it's just how you shoot. It's, it's, it's the content that you present to people. So, let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the bag. So, have a Mavic Pro that I just got. Yeah, I waited about two months for this. It was really difficult. And it took so long for me to get this that I actually moved. And I had to drive back to the house where it was being delivered. I had to follow the tracking and all that. It was a super huge hassle. I'm so glad to have this thing. I mean, you can see how small it is. It's really great. And then under that, I carry the charger, an extra battery, uh, a battery pack. I think this is like 12,000 ma. So um, I'll be able to charge my phone, uh, charge uh, the controller, a couple of things. I can't charge the like camera batteries or anything like that, but I can at least um, charge a couple of things. And last but not least, I wasn't a big fan of how the uh, Mavic here uses your cell phone. Now the controller actually charges your cell phone while you're using it, but it drains the controller really fast. 
So what I thought was, okay, I'll just use a separate device. So I bought a um, Samsung Tab, I think this is a Tab A, and uh, it was about a hundred bucks. It's a seven inch. Um, so it would be kind of like a dedicated screen for, for uh, flying the drone because I just wasn't a big fan of using my phone. Also, if like you get a call or text, you get all these alerts, you know, it becomes a pain, but you can always put your phone in airplane mode or whatever, or do not disturb. But still, I just, I just didn't want to deal with all that. So I got this. Um, I've actually had a couple of issues with this, but I'm not sure if it's the cable or anything like that. I've only had a couple of flights, so I'm still trying to work out the kinks. I think some of the firmware upgrade that just came out for the Mavic was, uh, might have jacked some stuff up. So there's more to come on that. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all my gear. I have a little bit of uh, miscellaneous cables that are in here. Nothing special. Uh, extra props. There's all my gear. I just kind of wanted to shoot a quick video. I, I know it's nothing special or anything like that. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I, what I got and uh, what I'm using kind of to shoot my, my stuff. And uh, hopefully there'll be some more content to come and, and I can start improving making videos better. And if you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Y'all have a good one.